Hurricane Matthew killed more than 500 people when it hit Haiti last October, and the nation is still struggling to rebuild. But signs of progress are emerging. Mark Irons recently traveled to Haiti and reports on one Haitian community's journey. Six months after vicious hurricane winds hit Haiti's southwest coast, families are still standing among the rubble. Hurricane Matthew destroyed a lot of homes in Lakai, Haiti, including this one. You can see where this tree came down, collapsed the roof, and destroyed this home. Juseline Jean-Pierre lives in this hut with her husband, children, and godmother's family. Thirteen people are living inside this house. She lost her farm animals and now struggles to find work to survive. She places hope only in God. For some Catholic parishioners just outside Lakai, a place of prayer came crashing down. Saint Anne Church reflects the hurricane's wrath. Mass is celebrated in a nearby schoolroom as the church awaits repairs. Matthew brought the next humanitarian crisis in a country riddled with poverty, a cholera epidemic, and 2010's massive earthquake. But 100 mile per hour winds can't flatten the Catholic faith. The crucifix at St. Anne remains intact. Father Wisplair Pluvios says it's proof that Jesus loves them. He says the strength of the Haitians to overcome difficulties comes naturally and joyfully. It's inside them, given from their ancestors who fought for Haiti's independence from France in the early 1800s. They're the most resilient people on earth. I don't think we could, we could handle half of the things they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Cameron Parker traveled from Colorado to work with Project Hope a Lakai-based ministry that partners with the U.S. group Cross Catholic Outreach. Since the October hurricane, they've repaired 114 homes, distributed housing materials to more than 60 families, and built seven new houses in the surrounding communities they serve. And plans to construct Juseline's family a new home are underway. Like many Haitians, this family couldn't afford to rebuild after Hurricane Matthew. But Project Hope lived up to its name. The father says it was like Jesus Christ came down from his throne in heaven to provide for them. In Lakai, the recovery effort is slow, and hundreds of families still need urgent assistance. But hope still stands. Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.